Good Saturday morning, uh, Twitch. Good morning, good morning. Rich Roberts, at Fireman Rich here on the Twitch, as well as over there on Twitter, where I tote myself as a social media observer, social media enthusiast. Enthusiast, we just tweeted it out. We'll be starting here momentarily, so hang loose there, folks. Hang loose. And hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the stream. We're getting our day started here. Watch some broadcasts, um, both over on that other platform as well as this platform. We were watching Nazim over on the other platform showing us some museum. Thank you, Nazim. I know you don't like Twitch, but I'm here on Twitch because it's landscape, landscape. <laughs> So I don't have any more coffee. The coffee is all done. Both me and the missus there, we, we knocked it out really quick. And um, let's see. Who we got? We got uh, Chris. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Coming in from Deming. Did I say that right? Deming, New Mexico? <laughs> the game title is wrong. Lord of the Rings. What's wrong with it? It says Lord of the Rings Online at lord of the rings adventure saturday so where is it wrong at is it wrong on twitter did it not how is it wrong chris it says risk not on my end you might want to refresh because i'm showing and the tweet tweeted out um uh, you might want to refresh it it says it tweeted out lord of the rings online so it's got to be on your end i, I had plugged in risk but i changed it out um beforehand so do a refresh on your end and uh as far as that goes because i'm showing um, i'll refresh my it says lord of the rings yeah it tweeted out lord of the rings so that's what's in the title on uh the thing i did and until so it's Really? Huh. Let me go into the profile here. I, I did, and it still shows. Check your Twitter feed. Check the Twitter feed. I tweeted it out. It should have said Lord of the Rings online. It, I might. Did it, did it tweet out that way? Did you see it on Twitter? Because I'm showing the title, Lord of the Rings Online. So, I'm not sure. And I don't know how you got risk. Unless there's a, a residual there. Uh, no one look on the bottom. No one look on the bottom of the title where it says risk. Is risk in there? I don't see risk. Lord of the Rings Online at L O T R O Venture Saturday morning gameplay at Twitch 01.21. No, no, look on the bottom of the title where it says risk. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Got the category. It's the cat that's the category. So, okay, I, I didn't change that. As soon as I said okay, let me go back in and change that. Okay. It's not the title, it's the category. 
Okay. Oh, down below it says that's the case. Okay, I see it now. It's below the title. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got that cleared up. <laughs> the up above it, that's a title. Down below, that's the category. I got to change the category. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> okay, Chris is keeping me straight like as always. <laughs> No problem. It's, it's, it's all right. Because I say, what the frick? I'm looking at this, and, I'm, and it's right in front of me. It's right below it. I'm seeing it now. I didn't even look at that. <laughs> that's that's interesting. You know, and as soon as I see that, it's like, you know what? That's the category. I didn't change the category. I changed the title. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Oh, the missus in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Stream Manager and change that. But we got a character that we're going to be playing here. It's a character I don't normally play. I want to do some gameplay. I don't want to try figuring out something that, uh, you know, we've got... Uh, God, what is this? This is, uh, this is on the VIP uh, server. Okay, there it is. It says Risk, the game of global... No. We were almost going to go live uh, yesterday after work. Um... Let's see, Lord of the Rings. Online. Let's see, where's Lotro? Yeah, I didn't want to take that. But we were almost going to go online yesterday after dinner with some risk play. I was going to use it. Uh, I want to use the tablet. I want to try getting on the tablet as far as for gameplay. Lord of the Rings. Rings online. Let's see, where is it? Where is that bad boy? Okay, where the hell is it? That's Lord of the Rings, Rise of War. I don't play that anymore. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, now it should... Let's see if that changes it. Go ahead and refresh. Let's see, go back to the channel. And uh, we get this, uh, this cleared away. Um, hey, Jane, hello. How you doing? Glad to see you here. And also, I want to say... I, Congratulations on you being affiliate. Uh oh. Oh, Jack is knocking over some stuff. Stand by for a minute. Jackie Jack, are they chasing you? Are you being chased? Let's see. Hang on for a minute. They never go smoothly. Start the broadcast here. Are you being chased? Yeah, you're getting all fidgety there, so. Let me get these things down. These things down here. What's the other one? Oh, one of them broke apart. What happened there? What happened? What'd you do there? Oh, that light goes in there. I guess you can. Okay. And we got dual cats. We got Jack and uh, who's fighting me. Fight, 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 fight. And we got uh, uh, Murdoch up on the perch there. Let's see. Um, and let's see. I went on. I went. Live last night on Twitch. I tested Skype on OBS. Yeah, I seen that on the replay. And Jan, Jane, hi Jane. Thanks. Okay, Jane. And then Jane said hi. We caught up on the uh, on the comments here. <laughs> you be my buddy, huh? Can you be my buddy? Oh, he's biting me. Huh? <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Okay, you just sit there. He's being a little, a little bit of a pain in the butt there. Let me get these on back on here. What? And then Murdoch is meowing at the at the birds, which I haven't seen too many. We we've got some nice weather today. What are you doing? I'm just playing the game. He wants me to play with him. He does. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Jade, thank you uh, for being here, and Chris Technician, uh, thank you also for being here. We're we're playing Lord of the Rings online, and let's see, I've got some mail. What's this mail? You just received new mail to open your. Yeah, I got. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jack must be cranked. Yeah, he's being chased around and stuff. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Where's my mail? I don't have the mail. Let's see, what do we got in here? That's from Leftovers. Let's get the uh, bonus for the day. Open free gold. Okay, there we go. Three times 100 marks. We don't use the marks, really. And then battle potions. Okay, we got that. Bring up. Jack is so tight. Uh, let's see, we got this, that, 
And this character, I, I, like I said, this character's name is uh, Javelin. Javelin. He is a... Uh, uh, what kind of character is he? He is a... Let's see. Let's see. He is a scout axe hunter. And this is a... Uh, uh, he is a dwarf. We're at the Dwarf King. We're at the Dwarf Castle, I think. Let me see. Yeah, we're at the... Uh, we're at Thorns Hall. Thorns Hall. So we're going to be playing this for a couple hours here. And I... Except I got mail. What did I get for mail? Oh, here's the mail. New mail. Let's see. What's the new mail say? We got uh, request for assistance. What's this all about? Okay. This is a fairly new character. It's only level 7. And... Uh, and it says, hello there, and well met. I hope this mess, this missive is not intruding upon anything important. Uh, they want us to join something. We're going to do, we're not going to do that. We'll just, and let's see, deed completed. Yeah, this is just some of the back room. Let's see, do I have to do something with this? No, we're not going to do that. I need to do that. And let's see, remote log. Okay, here we go. Because we already have, um, we'll leave that like that. And let's see, remember AOL? You got mail? Yeah, I remember that. I still have an AOL account, I think, somewhere. <laughs> I know I got an AOL email address somewhere and stuff, so. Uh, but yeah, I got that. You got mail? I remember that. That was like state of the art back in the day. Okay, let's see. Um, you're not seeing the comments that I've seen because they're behind my picture as far as that goes. Uh, so this is uh, Javelin. He's a uh, a dwarf, level seven. Um, this is a this is a portion of Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, how can I put this? Lord of the Rings Online. And actually, I'm just thinking, this is the first time I'm using this microphone with uh, broadcasting the game. And it, so it sounded pretty good, I guess, what I'm, what I'm hearing on my Surface 3. Uh, and I'm using OBS. OBS in the game is up on my main, main screen here, the main box. That's the only thing I have up there. And uh, I'm monitoring the chat uh, on my Surface 3, but I also have my uh, uh, LG Stylo, Stylo 5. Android track phone. By the way, TNT channel is showing Star Wars tonight. Yeah, okay, that's another Star Wars. And Chris, uh, Jane said, Chris, I do lots of laughs. So she remembers AOL. I remember that, you know, when we first got on, it's almost like the, didn't they have a tone or something like that? Or, no, it's it, the thing, you got mail. Yeah, yeah, the AOL, you got mail and stuff. So so I'm, I'm monitoring this on the Surface 3. And I've got my Twitter up, so it did tweet. And we're going to be playing here for a couple hours, maybe till lunchtime and stuff. I haven't played in a long time. And I wanted to play a character I haven't played. This is my lowest level character. And uh, this was part of an upgrade a while back for uh, um, this particular character. And like I said, he is a... Uh, uh, let me get this over here. He is a uh, uh, javelin. He's uh, his title is gem without measure. He is uh, um, a scout axe hunter. So, uh, and this is very new. Yeah, boring one. Let's see. What? This is boring, boring, Jane. <laughs> What's boring, boring? Star Wars or this game? This game can be boring. I'm not going to argue with that. I have fun playing it. So we have uh, this quest here. Scout Axe. Let's see. Prelude. Let's see. Fine. Uh, Nigel. Let's see. Fine. Nigel. Near Farron's Court before Thorns Hall. Dwarlin has urged you to embark on your own adventure, but you should 
good farewell. Okay. Uh, no, the AOL side. Bo oh, boring. Not bo oh, boing, boing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, clarification. I, I thought you meant that. Yeah, okay. I just... Uh, for those that are watching us on the replay, Jane is a fantastic artist here on Twitch. Go follow her. What are you doing, Murdoch? What are you... Who wants the pet? Oh my god, everybody wants attention. Leave me alone so I can play my freaking game. There you go. He's <laughs> freaking idiot. Jack is just ple pe pleasantly sitting here next to me. Um, I know. I You're saying hi to everybody. They like you too, okay? He's sitting over on the chair over here. On the edge of the chair. So we gotta look for this uh this individual. Let's see if we can find him. He just wants attention. What's that? Yeah. Oh yeah, that we have to talk. It's just like Earl there, Randy's cat. He thinks you're talking to him. Uh Murdoch is the same way. Let's see. Jane, I would never be... No, I know that, Jane. I know that. I know. Jeez. I've known you long enough. You know, even what... Uh, uh, well, uh, let's see. It was a year ago we were all on that other platform, and I think that's where I met you when uh, you, you first... Oh, and the, the artwork. Let me tell you guys about the artwork that Jane does. She did... Our good friend, Randy W. Horton, she did a bit for Randy W. Horton. It's sort of like a cartoon, but it was a beautiful piece of Randy hugging next to a camel. And I'll never, I'll never forget. That's how I first, I say, wow, this, this gal is talented. <laughs> she is a talented art. And she broadcasts here, and she's meticulous. I, I, um, I think your last broadcast, I caught a little bit of it, uh, Jane, was... Uh, you're doing an, you're setting up an emoji on your iPad or something like that. So uh, um, please follow Jane. She's a great gal. Um, we love her as far as the artwork that she does. It's 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 fantastic, and uh, I'm glad to know her as far as that goes. She's a, and she even plays PUBG now and again. Get that? I, that's what amazes me. She she she'll jump into. And um, she's getting, uh, she's settled here. I think, uh, Jane, I got to say, uh, uh, you being on Twitch, you, you really have a great broadcast. You know, and I saw Walt, our good friend Walt Hollick over there in Ireland. He was on uh, walking the fields, the grassy fields of Ireland. Another great broadcaster here and stuff. And I'm glad I know you guys. By the way, Chris says the game is looking better. Um, and your cameras, yeah, yeah. I got, I guess I got good internet this morning and stuff. And, um, and like I said, on my main box, the only thing I have, you're welcome, Jane. The only thing I have is the game and then OBS. I don't have anything else. Um, and I think that comes up to works as far as that goes. And, and I got very minimum as far as on the Surface 3. I've got a, a Twitch page open and, uh, um, you know, my, my, uh, Twitter page and stuff like that. So, so let's see. Let's see if we can find this guy. This is Thorns Hall. How come I'm just walking? How come I can't run? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got about ten inches of snow. Dangerous. Oh, yeah. You're downstate, I believe, Jane. Aren't you? You're in New York State, I believe, right? Uh, we have no snow whatsoever. We got some flurries yesterday. It is cold. It's about 20-some degrees. Oh, yeah, we do have the... What did you say about the wind? That wind is really cold. Okay, the, the wind is really cold. So, uh, yeah, you got 10 inches of snow. But I believe you're down in... Are you in the Hudson Valley area? Oh, we got something flashing over. Let's go check that out. Let's investigate that. Um, Chris, yeah, you want the full power of the RAM? Yeah, exactly, Chris. Let's see, what's this? This is, um, oh, this is the, that's a new deed, uh, Exiles. That's one of the, uh, the, uh, oh, what is it? It's one of the, the items in the deeds. You got all these, uh, these deeds here. The red one, that's the one we just tagged. So, uh, um, uh, yeah, that's Murdoch in the background. He's right here. He wants attention. That's just Murdoch. 
He's all right. He's just talking. Um, well, these are the deeds. And I just finished this one where it's Discovery of the Dwarf Markers in Thorns Hall. So these are, once you complete these, you get five Locho points and five, uh, 30 marks. These marks, I, for the life of me, they've had them for a number of years. I, I never use them. I got a shitload of them in my uh, my wallet there, the online wallet for Locho. So I don't. Good boy. Here, you got some rough pets. Likes to get freaking rubbed in the back there. Okay, let's see. I don't know if I have to go outside. So we'll venture outside. This is Thorn Tall. Jane, you'll appreciate this. Look at the artwork of this game. This is what that just uh, blows me away is being able to let's get first hand view. The detail. And this game can be played for free. There's a free upload and stuff like that. And you just uh uh, my brother's cat does that too when he wants attention. Yeah, Murdoch wants the attention. So this is the the entrance to Thorns Hall, right? And I gotta say that stream of light that's coming out from that that reminds me of uh, the church, the cathedral in Milan. And we saw Nazim today. He was showing a museum over on the other other channel, that other broadcasting platform. Uh, but he he's actually shown in uh, his broadcasts over there uh, the ch uh, the cathedral in Milan and they have this light that beams off of this one particular piece of stained glass and it shoots a blue beam down to the ground and um, we saw that uh, I was running the Strada de Milano it was a 13 mile run back in 1970 was it Summer or summer of 77, 78 or 79. I think it might have been 79. And um, we all stood in there before the uh, the race and stuff like that. So this that that's, that beam of light there reminds me of it. And what it's shining on is right there, that statue. Let me go backwards here. So it's a great statue of Thorn, King Thorn, I guess, maybe? I'm not sure who that's. Let's see, do they have a... I don't know if it can highlight that. No, it doesn't highlight it, but let's go ahead and venture out. Let's see, I know games blow my mind. Yeah, don't they? They keep your mind working, too, especially uh, at our age, I guess. I'm not... Not age dating anybody. Oh, where'd I go? Where'd I go? What'd I do here? I lose track. I'm, I can't. I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. Oh, there, there's the door. Look at this door. Isn't that? That's a freaking great door. Let's go ahead and open it. Go outside. Let's see. I know games blowing my mind. Chris Technician, Jane, you should check out. Oh, that's Brawler. It's a free game. Yeah. And Jane, don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that's right. You were in Italy with. Oh, that's right. Did you get a chance to go into the cathedral, Jane? Did you go into the cathedral there in Milan? Were you able to go in? Were they allowing people to go in? Let's see. And you met up with Nazim. Yeah, yeah. He goes over to the museum runs. Video game is good for the brains if you don't play them too much. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let me see if I can find our mark here. Okay, he's down. He's down closer to the gate, so you can see this gold ring. That's our our target. That's our person we got to talk to. Uh, the gold ring. Okay, so we just got to travel straight. And it's sort of cold, but you can see he's he's got he's a tough guy. This dwarf called Javelin. And, um, yes, I've been there a number of times. Yeah, I, I, I was amazed by the architecture there. And that's the one big thing about Italy. Uh, um, when I was taking my um, my English 101 and 102, I had a professor, Dr. Cepeda. She also taught architecture. And um, we, we tagged uh, us English students, tagged along 
on a field trip she took down to Livorno, Italy, which is the uh, um, where um, yeah, is the original Romeo and Juliet, and um, or was that Verona? Verona. I'm sorry, Verona, and um, Verona, Italy, and uh, and she was showing us all. It was all about she was. This was for the architect, and she was explaining all this architecture, and I'm like, wow, this is interesting. And we got to see, uh, um, I think I've told this before, the uh, the balcony where Romeo, or Juliet was talking to Romeo. Romeo, Romeo, where far thou thou? And the <laughs> the balcony in movies is it, it's grand and uh, majestic, but when you actually see it, it's no. I don't think it's no bigger than this computer desk. And that's about what four feet four and a half feet as far as a balcony in this little square that's no bigger than this area behind me <laughs> so that's pretty amazing um chris uh is it the desktop or mobile both yeah that's that game let's see new d place terrence court Should be off to our right over here. Where is he? Nope, maybe he's on this side. No? Oh, he might be up on the hill. Back here? Oh, there he is. That's who we have to see right here. This is, uh, this is, uh, Nigel. Nigel. I know not where my journey shall take me, but I hope our paths cross again. Let's see what we got here. Javelin, it is good to see you, my friend. I have enjoyed our time together in uh, Ered Luanen, but this is not my home. And uh, you of all dwarfs must understand what has become of your people. Did. Uh, Lethe and Vasky win your freedom? What of the others? I know it must seem a terrible thought. I am sure one day you shall return to Mordor, but it will be to see that your people at least live free from the enemy. Yeah, Mordor. We're not going to Mordor at level 7. Jeez, we get our asses kicked. <laughs> and then some... We'll put this over here. Um... Let's see, I know not where my journey shall take me, but I hope our paths cross again. After all, you shall have even more ta tales to tell then, and I think I shall have a few of my own. Farewell, Javelin. Javelin. I know not where my journey shall take me, but I hope our paths cross again. This is a quest that I, I, I guess I did and I never finished it. This character is still at the beginning of the game and stuff on this uh, particular... This is a VIP server because, uh, like I said, uh, he, uh, Javelin, he is a stout axe dwarf. He, um, so, I don't know what color should I get. Let's see. I don't use the dyes. Let's see. Why don't we get uh, rust dye, olive, navy dyes, gray. I like blue. Let's get the navy. We can always sell it. So we'll finish that quest. And it says, you gain your first points. Reputation, reputation points will increase your standing. Yeah, we know that. Okay, there, there's there's many aspects of this game. And establishing a reputation is one of them. Okay, so we're all done with that quest. Because you can see underneath the, uh, the, the compass, it says Thorn's Gate there. Off to the upper right hand corner. There's nothing in that queue. So we got to go look for another quest, and what we need to do is go look for one of these guys with the uh, the ring over their heads. 
So we'll go ahead and tag this guy. I am proud of my son, but needs me to take care of him. He's still it's very young. Let's see what this Come is. and stay a moment. Uh, welcome and well, well me. I could use your help if you have a moment. Yeah, we got, that's what we're looking for. I have a bit of a problem, nothing terrible, mind you, but difficult for this old dwarf, you see. It's my son, Gizli. He's a good fellow and all, but he is young and doesn't have the experience of elders. He has, uh, let's see, he has just received his first post down in uh, Naglan in the van of Thorn Thrain. Uh, I want to send uh, Gizli uh, a favorite meal so he knows. Oh, okay. We got to do a, a Lord of the Rings. Um, um, oh, what's that called? Um, not the, the, the food, food version of Uber. We got to deliver some food. <laughs> Let's see. Um, uh, he wants a favorite meal, so he knows I'm thinking of him, but I don't have the most important ingredients. Claw legs. If you can bring me a bit. Oh, we got to get a, we got to go get him some claw legs. I just know Gizli will be pleased. You can find uh, cave craws in the old mine east of Thorns Hall. Okay. Got to go, Rich. Okay. You, you have a great, great Saturday, Jane. And uh, again, we'll, we'll catch in your broadcast here on Twitch. Later, I guess, if you're going to be broadcasting. Thank you for being here, Jane. Thank you very much. No problem. And uh, so we got to go get some crab. Or what, what kind of legs are these? Some cave craw legs. Okay, so we're going to accept this. And let's see. We got to go. Okay, we're gonna, oh, we can catch them all over the place here. The map is showing red. So we're going to go. We'll go east. And to. Uh, Go get some of these buggers. So this is a gathering quest that we have to do. Okay, we're in the red zone, so we gotta look for some targets. Let's see, we got one down here, let's see. No, that's not it. Let's see what's this guy. No, that's a cat. Oh, here's one. Get up here, ready for the fight. This is what a craw, a craw, a cave craw is. Sort of like an ant eater. Let's see. Let's see, can we use our bow? Let's see, do we have our bow? Let's see, yeah. Oh, we got one of eight. Okay, you can see it on there. And you can see a little, the flashing yellow means we're in the target area. We've got, uh, let's see, no, we don't want to get... The Highland Hunter Cat. I guess that. We got to the point in the game that I don't try and kill any kills anything that I don't need. Let's, Let's go around this way. Oh, what's this? on the map and just to the east of us there's a gold a gold uh, oh a gold uh, ring I don't know what that's all about well, we got my curiosity though because I thought we we're just hunting in the red but that has something to do with uh, this least thing Let's see if we can try and get over that way I think we gotta climb this hill somehow.
I think this is the road we gotta take. We got a claw up here. Let's go ahead and take it. Two. No, we don't want it here. We don't want that. No, let's continue on our. So you get a Facebook. Oh, Mrs. like the uh, talk of the day. So we'll give a thumbs up to that. Thank you. Oh, what I just did is I set I accidentally set a trap. So anything that gets in this red marker area gets stuck, and I can just fire away with arrows because my character is a hunter. So uh, let's see, this is the silver deep mines. Oh, we don't want to go that way. We, we missed a turn. We got to backtrack. We got to backtrack, folks. And I'm actually, the new microphone I think is working very well. I'm enjoying using it as far as that goes. And uh, uh, let's see, do a test count one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, proceeding on. I think this is where we had to make the turn. Oh, no. Jeez, we went, went by the turn here. Let's see. Okay, it's up here. We gotta go right at the fort. Which is right up here. And we're gonna go up this hill, I believe. So, yep. See any, uh... on a target that we need to get. I just wonder if we go to this this ring that I see on the map and it will complete this straight off the bat. There'll be a shitload of crap. Oh, what do we got here? We got a little foxy fox. Winter fox. And nothing like that. And let's see, we gotta go. Go up this way. Winter Heights. Okay, we're back on the road. Oh, that's what that is. It's a. Uh, it's indicating. A cave. So here we are in a cave. Maybe let's go in ahead and explore. Oh, we got some targets down here. Let's see. 
Hope we don't get lost. And it's our oh, there's a target. Yep. Okay, this is where we have a. Okay, I think we're gonna find a lot of our target right here. I guess that's what. So we'll just venture down into the cave here. Accidentally. Okay, yeah, there's there we are. Let's get this other one that's come close to us. We'll get that one first. Just rearranging my skills. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna need to. Oh, we set a trap. Maybe I'll do that next. Oh, let's see. I gotta wait. Which one's the trap? Oh. Okay, that one's set in the trap, so which one's this? Stand straight. Okay. Man, I can barely see it. Okay, there we go. Too much light. Let's see. I'll show you how the trap works. Let's see, we gotta get a target here. Okay, here's a couple targets. There's three of them. Oh, let's see. Let's wait till we back off here a little bit. Get a trap. And watch him. He'll get stuck there. So it wasn't stuck. <laughs> that works. I don't usually play the. I don't usually play the hunter. Oh, well, let's go ahead and knock this guy out just for two minutes here. We're almost ready to level up from seven to eight. You can see the gold bar there. So let's see. Okay. In front of us going back to the door. We'll go ahead and take them out. We're lost. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This is the way. Okay. Here we go. It just blends in. I can't really. There we go. Oh, we'll bypass these guys. We'll let them live. Oh, there's the wood bridge. Cross the wood bridge. There. And there's the door. So we'll go back out. And we go back down and bring our. Crab legs or cake legs to uh, the person that gave us the request. Let's 
Let's see, that audio's still good or? Yeah, it's good. Okay. And you will see on the bottom there that gold bar that goes across underneath all my skills and stuff that the, the, uh, that it, it's almost pegged out so when we get back we will be going from a level 7 to a level 8 
What do you need? <laughs> 